So, hello, come back to another episode of the Self Development with Tactics podcast. Today we are going to go ahead with the moral sayings by Publilius Rufus, no, not Rufus, but Cyrus, and um, because there's also Muphonius Rufus, another Stoic author and or well, another Stoic period. But let's see. Um, I gotta have to find it first. Moral. My dear moral sayings. I unfortunately do not really know where I've stopped. But we might. We might find it rather quickly. Or we are gonna find it rather quickly. Mm. The greatest empires. I'm sorry, the greatest of empires is the empire over oneself. Glory is apt to follow when industry has prepared the road. Fools stand in dread of fortune, wise men bad. It is foolish to complain of the misfortunes which have come to pass through your own fault. Yes, that is totally the case. Um, <laughs> I would totally say, like, uh, just don't. Um, if this is the case, if it's your fault, if it is due to you, whatever uh, has happened then um it is what it is and you, you especially when this is the case you should not complain and you should either take it and i know that this is very 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 um i want to say complicated but it is difficult and um it's definitely not easy to to see setbacks as um as a means to grow and 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 maybe even as a reason to grow if you notice okay i am actually really lacking in one field maybe you should be doing something about that you know maybe you you want to be doing something about that on the other hand um you may as well just hmm you as well just also think about the fact that you don't have to be good at everything you know, some things you're good at and some things you are not good at. As it is with many people, many, many, many people. And some people are um, so fortunate that they are able to do many things very, very well. Indeed, and it is what it is. You know, you can either be <laughs> really unhappy about that uh, and be angry about these people and whatnot. But you should actually be pretty... Well, on one hand, grateful for those people. Depends on their character, depends on who they are, what they do and whatnot. Um, how they're acting, stuff like that. How they're presenting themselves and whatnot. But um, be grateful for having those people. And just be like, okay, I'm grateful for you that this is the case for you. You know, I may not be as smart as you, but I'm really glad that, that you're as smart as you are. Um I kind of believe in just just seeing the good and really focusing on the good and really also trying to um, spread the good. Doesn't always have to be, um, you know, not necessarily that serious, but a bit more objective and a bit more human, I would say. It is folly to punish your neighbor by fire when you live next door. Yes. It's a very fucking dumb idea. It is folly for him to rule over others who cannot govern them him who cannot govern himself. The poor man is ruined as soon as he begins to ape the rich. He who conquers his passions is a man of more nerve than he would than he who subdues the enemy. He who subdues his temper vanishes his greatest enemy. This is kind of exactly what I meant before. Um, talking to people, um, people that are smarter than you, way smarter than you, and I know for myself, there are many, many people also that I know that are just smarter than I am. It is what it is. This is just the case. And I have to admit it. I am really against 
being like, okay, you know, also maybe saying to your kid, like, well, but when it is about your kid, it may be something different. Um, but I, first of all, do not think that honey coating anyone is a smart idea. And on the other hand, just being realistic is a very good idea. Um, noticing that there are just people that are better than you is a great idea. It is a great thing. There are people that are better than you, period. This is what it is. You cannot change it besides you yourself becoming better and getting better over time, doing more work and so on and so forth. Like you can do that. But being angry about the fact that other people are better than you, like, what is the benefit of that? What, why would you do that? And on the other hand, mm, what does this have to do with temper? Um, getting angry in the first place. Oh, I'm sorry. Do not get angry. It's pretty unnecessary. Like, there is no reason why most often also you should. Maybe it is even your fault, which we have covered before as well. And and many more things. Like, um, just make other people's lives better by you being there. Do not make it worse. If this includes not being an asshole, not being like, okay, um, I hate the fact that you're better than I am. I hate the fact that you're smarter than I am. Well, one should not care about that. It is what it is. But one should really care about one's own one owns abilities and what one can do um, for himself, for himself and whatnot. Like, it's amazing. You shouldn't lead one life in private and another in public. Great advice indeed. Uh, I have often regretted my speech, never my silence. Um, me too, actually. Yeah, actually, <laughs> quite often. Um, I do tend to to say certain things that then that you know in the end they're not really serving me. They they're hurting me. Um, I regret it. I dislike what I've said. I um, yeah. Actually, really, really often, and therefore, it also makes sense to think about one's action and and what was uh, and and what one says more often and well, more precisely, a bit more just about it, and more putting more energy into the thinking process. Then, but with that being said, I'm gonna.